we're going to take a look at the Bull Commander 1911 chambered in 9mm. So let me tell you guys, I have been a 1911 fan since probably before I was born. And yeah, I just love these pistols. This is one of the first 1911s that I pulled out of the box in a long time that wasn't a pure custom built, hand built 1911. This is a production gun. This is the first production 1911 that I pulled out of the box in a long time that I was really, really impressed with. Everything about this pistol just screams custom firearm from the way it, all the parts are fitted, the way the pistol shoots, the accuracy, everything about it. This one is, for me, a five out of five, maybe even a six out of five. Now, this is one that's definitely going in the safe and will stay there. It's already been shot a lot and it's gonna get shot a lot more. If you're in the market for a 1911 today, this is the pistol that you should be looking at. I know there's a lot of you out there that are like, I've never even heard of Bull, what's a Bull? Well, Bull firearms, are they're from Israel and they've been around for a little over 20 years that I'm aware of producing 1911s and 2011s, primarily for competitive shooters. They started out with the wide body guns with a modular frame similar to the STIs or the Staccatos uh, back in the late 90s and early 2000s. And they've continued for the last 20 plus years refining their product, refining their process to be able to produce and release and sell a firearm that is comparable with any of your high-end 1911s and 2011s on the market today. Don't hesitate on this one, guys. You won't find these long. And the price point is ridiculous. So let's pop the hood on this one and see what this pistol's all about. This Commander Link Bull, chambered in 9mm, has a four and a quarter inch barrel. It comes with two 10 plus one round capacity magazines. This pistol is also available in 45 ACP and has a capacity of eight plus one with the same four and a quarter inch barrel. The full size frame on this pistol has a short dust cover and this pistol is based on the Series 70 1911s meaning there's no firing pin safety or levers or anything like that in, inside the gun. So it's based on the older Series 70, which a lot of your 1911s today are. This pistol has 30 LPI checkering on the front strap. LPI stands for lines per inch, which gives a really nice checkering on the front strap, which is not overly aggressive and chew your hand up. The back strap of the gun has 30 LPI checkered mainspring housing which does a good job of helping to bite into the heel of your hand and the palm of your hand. One really nice custom feature with this pistol is the undercut trigger guard, which allows your hand to sit a little higher and gives you better recoil control over the pistol. The pistol also comes with an extended ejector for nine millimeter to help get those little short stubby cases clear to the, clear to the slide and out of the way to chamber the next round quickly. This pistol comes with G10 grips, they have some really nice features. On the left side where your magazine release is, it's cut out. 
to allow easy access for the extended checkered magazine release, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. Right-handed shooters are able to slide their thumb in here to get to the magazine release easily. Left-hand shooters can move your index finger back and you've got a locating spot. You don't have a grip that bumps your finger when you go to the magazine release. It's a really nice custom feature with this pistol. One really nice feature with these grips are the grip screws themselves. When you start looking at the grip screws on the gun, you really notice all the little custom details that Bull incorporated into this pistol. The grip screws are extremely nice on this model. I was very impressed with them. The stainless steel slide on this pistol has really deep front and rear cocking serrations and a rounded top on the slide. The slide and frame are available in two different finishes. You can get it in the matte stainless steel finish like we have with this model, and it's also available in a black oxide finish. The advertised trigger pull weight on the bull is three to three and a half pounds. This particular model breaks very cleanly at 3.5 to 3.6 pounds with a really short reset. One of the nice features with the trigger is it has an adjustable pre-travel stop. It also has adjustable over-travel stops with the trigger. Now the trigger itself is an aluminum shoe with three slots and a serrated face. The edges on the trigger are slightly rounded so it doesn't dig into your finger and gives you a really nice comfortable purchase with your trigger finger on the trigger itself. The trigger guard on this pistol, along with most of your 1911s, are rounded. So it has a really nice rounded trigger guard. Um, there's a few guns out there that offer square trigger guards, which to me is a really nice custom feature and one that eventually I'd love to see with the bullet. Now this pistol also comes with an extended single side thumb safety, which works really well for right-handed shooters, not so much for lefties. So with this one, I'll be swapping it out and putting an ambi thumb safety on it just because I like it ambidextrous controls, ambidextrous controls, or how you want to pronounce it. It also has a really nice checkered slide stop, checkered magazine release, and a really high upswept beaver tail grip safety with a speed bump on the bottom of it for positive engagement. The Novak style sights on this pistol are black on the front, black on the rear. They're serrated on the face to make they dim the light down to make it really easy to pick the sights up. The rear sight also has a flat shelf for one hand slide manipulation. The hammer on this pistol is your standard commander style hammer in a black finish. The bull comes with a stainless steel one piece guide rod and it also has a flush mount bushing on the front of the slide. It gives you a little bit of extra static weight up front which helps with the recoil and the recoil spring itself with the pistol is somewhere between eight and nine pounds very soft and more than enough to reliably cycle the 9mm in the Bull Commander Link 1911. The unloaded weight of the Bull in 9mm is 2.3 pounds. The design of this pistol is absolutely flawless. When you start looking it over, all the little details really start to come out. From the blended frame to slide fit, the blended beaver tail fit to the frame, all the little details that were not overlooked with this pistol, that a, lot of, that a lot of other companies just seem to say that's good enough. Well, with Bull, it's not good enough. They, their design with this gun is absolutely flawless. Accuracy was exactly what I would expect. 25 yards, this was a one-hole pistol. If you can hold that type of group with a handgun, this pistol is capable of shooting it. Just extremely, extremely accurate. Reliability was 100%. The ejection path was at about 2.30 right out of the gun. You know, just a nice neat little pile of brass about four feet to the right of me as I was shooting. You know, the cases are just, just flipping right out of the gun just like they're supposed to. Just perfect ejection, perfect extraction. Everything on this gun, Bull didn't miss anything with it. They hit all of the high points. They hit all of the low points and everything in the middle. MSRP on this pistol is about $850. That absolutely shocked me. I was expecting this gun to be over $2,000 when I looked it up to see what the MSRP was. And it's only around $850. I found a few like at some retail gun shops online when I was doing a little bit of searching that had them listed for around 1,000. But went over to Gun Broker and there's a bunch of them brand new on Gun Broker for $850. And uh, you know, it's a tremendous value for what you get with this firearm. This is one that will be added to the collection no doubt. If you guys enjoyed this video, 
make sure to like and subscribe below. See you next time. Another word for the grip screws, they just fancy y'all, I'm telling you.